Mike, did you at all hear about the, the Yahoo Sports column? Yeah, you know, I get a lot of columns. You know, if you would ask specifics, I'm not going to comment on a column. But if there's any specific things, because sometimes when you comment on a, a, a column, you give credit positively or negatively to the column. I would rather talk about points, and I'd be happy to talk about any point, you know, well, with any of you. Yes, the, the point that I was going to ask about specifically was that that Duke and, and you are basically the big, biggest benefactor of your participation with USA Basketball. Well, everybody ha can have an opinion on that. Uh, when in, on August 24, 2008, and the score is 91-89 in a gold medal game against Spain. If Kobe Bryant doesn't hit a couple shots and Dwayne Wade doesn't make it, do you think I'd have an advantage? Because we would lose. In other words, the point I'm making is anybody who wins or if someone writes a great book or great article, somebody wins a championship, they have an advantage. But it's advantage through accomplishment. You know, and so uh, the notoriety that you get from it is, you know, there's a risk to that. In other words, you can lose. You know, there's time that you give up. The fact that you win, if you gain an advantage by that, then so be it. I, just like someone wins a national championship. Kevin Ollie has an advantage going recruiting this year, you know, because he won, you know, and Pretty much, that's that's the only thing, and uh, you know, we we give up. I've given up 50 days this summer. I think one of the points in there is that I have this access to these guys. In the nine years that I've done it, you know, there have been two times that I've gone to watch younger guys, and really, I can go every time. I, I you know. Actually, Jerry Coyne says, as many times as you can because we want to build a program. I've gone for two days in nine years. Okay? There's a selection committee of college coaches who select these teams. Jim Beheim has headed that for 10 years. In the 10 years he's done that, probably every time there's been a tryout, he's there for three or four days with other members of the selection committee who are college coaches. I think Roy has been on that. You know, just, I think, I'm not sure anybody else from our conference. The college coaches coach those teams. There are court coaches who spend a week, the college coaches would spend a few weeks with those players. You know, like, if you would just make, if you would do research on it and take the last nine years, and every college coach who had access to younger players at times where all the coaches don't have other players, you would find, you would find an astounding number of days that people on the select, and, and we're, I'm not begrudging them, they give up time to do that. But to pick out and say that I've done that for two, once or twice is ridiculous. That, that gives you an advantage. Yeah, it's, it's, Utterly ridiculous, and anybody who comments on it without doing the research then is really wanting to take that point of view. Yeah, and so I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. And to think that we haven't recruited, you know, we've won four national championships. 